Wait. <laughs> what's up? What's up? Okay. So, who can guess what I am right now? Just okay. one? Rapper. Rapper. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So, why do you think that? Because of how you look. Yes. Right there, that's a stereotype. Right there. Since I have, these could be dreads, I can have my bandana. And I have my pants sagging. Okay. So that's a stereotype. So stereotypes are how people assume assumptions of different peoples. Assumption of different people. So let's say, here, here are some stereotypes. Hispanics, some people think they're drug addicts, gang bangers. And they speak Mexican, and Mexican's not a language. It's Spanish. <laughs> and some Asians, they always do karate, which is not true. And they're good at math, which some of that is. <laughs> um, and their parents are really strict, but that's not completely true because my parents are strict also. And they're bad at athletics, and that's not true at all because my friend's really good. Um, some white stereotypes. They're dumb blondes, and I know that's not true because Ruby right here, and Miss Lewis, and Livia, and I don't know if you're blonde. Um, She's a strawberry blonde. <laughs> and, <clears throat> and they're always smart and proper, and they love beer, which everybody loves beer. <laughs> um, and all, this for you, Cooper, all whites like Donald Trump, which is not true, and all whites, hey, all, man. Donald Trump, all Donald Trump supporters are not rednecks and are bad and stuff, and all blacks are not dumb and drug addicts and violent all the time, that's why I dressed up as this and kind of aggressive and I came down, yo, 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 like that, and not all of them are fatherless because I have a really good father. Um, they're not always dropouts or gone to jail. Um, so how can stereotypes affect us? They can, they can affect us by making us not pursue different job expectations or different jobs. Let's say um, someone says you'll never, you'll never be the CEO of Chick-fil-A. And you keep on believing that everybody you know says that. And so, obviously, if that's all you hear, you're going to start to believe that. So, that's how stereotypes can put you down. And a recent study has shown that men perform poorly and have a, a slower mental processing, a slower mental process after seeing pictures of blonde women. Like in Legally Blonde. If anybody knows this movie, this is about this is about a young lady, Reese Witherspoon, who everybody told her since she was too fancy or she was a blonde that she couldn't go to law school. And so her boyfriend wanted to go to law school right here. And so and so she wanted to go with him. And nobody thought she she could because she was blind and proper and stuff. But she made it. And then after that, in the second movie, people still kept on putting her down. And so she wanted to become the, I think, secretary of Congress or something like that. And she became what she wanted to be, even though stereotypes still put her down. Um, so anyway, a recent study has shown that men perform slower and poorly after seeing pictures of blonde women. The research states that because of the famous stereotype of blonde women being not so intelligent, um, who, people who believe in that stereotype act less intelligent in the company of blonde women, which is outrageous. One possible explanation for that is that the want to be accepted by all people is so great that you go to their standards. So that is why we mirror them whenever we are, when we come in contact with them. Why, why I can prove this is true because that's long ago after slavery, they had their hair really poofy, kinky, curly. But then 
after coming in contact with different ethnic groups, they got pressure from other groups uh, to change their hair because too poofy and too wide. And so that's why they straightened their hair. Uh, some examples of this uh, is having African Americans or any other curly hair people to have straight hair and different clothes. Um, back to being a blonde and legally going to, you know, she was all prison and stuff and Sarah Plex put her down. Uh, oh, effects and stereotypes. In one study, stereotypes in elder, elderly people activate impaired memory performance and it, stereotypes give you poor relationship. In my opinion, if you hear a bad thing about ethnic group all the time, you are less likely to associate with those type of people. Like I said, it makes you feel like um, what people are saying is actually true. Um, oh, so my Sunday school teacher, her son, his name is, no, I'm not going to say his name, his son's name is Danny, and Danny, he went to the mall, all dressed like this, really loud and pants sagging, and so they would, because he was trying to get the new Jordans, and so he came really early to stand in line. He was the first people that... <coughs> He and his friends were the first people there. And the store owner, which happened to be white, didn't want to let them in because they were so aggressive, kind of like, and they were just so loud and they just looked aggressive. And so that's a stereotype. And this happened probably last year at the Park Plaza Mall. Um, here are some stereotypes. <clears throat> Here, all black people have dreads and have a lot of tattoos and have a grill. Here's another one. All Hispanics or all, all Hispanics are Mexican, like Dora. And actually, this is the girl from Glee, Santana Lopez. She is the cheerleader. She's actually Afro American, which means black and um, Latino, which people normally call. Black skin, but it's Afro. Um, these are smart blondes. Shakira, Beyonce is actually pretty smart, but she's not a real blonde. Um, Shakira has an IQ of 140, and Reese Witherspoon, although her, she's really smart, although the um, role they put her in is really, really blonde. Um, oh, Here's someone who can dance. This, this is this is Lady Gaga. She can dance, and this is um, I think this is Martha Goodman and Glenn Jean Kelly and Danielle Rigoli, the Catch Me Outside girl. She can dance. And Hannah Tyler. So, could you please click on this for me? Well, you can. Speaking of dancing, that's, there's a stereotype that all black people can dance, and that's not that's true. That's not true. I know Jordan can dance. <laughs> she can sing, but she can't sing. But she's very, she's very athletic. Yeah. So you, you would think she would. Scroll down a little bit. Um, scroll down some more, some more, some more. Okay, it's coming. Now scroll back up. It may take it a minute for the stuff to load. Scroll back down.
So yeah, that's Hannah Tallery. You can dance and here um, stereotypes also go with um, cultural appropriation, which that means people, because of the long list of stereotypes, they obviously think that if let's say. Justin Bieber, he can't wear dress because he is white. That is not fair. Or if you're white, you cannot wear box braids, which is not true because everybody looks good in box braids. Um, What's that? These. Oh. <laughs> okay. Box then, what? Braids. Braids. Thank you. Can you move um, this? Or I you can. Um, and these are some costumes which are kind of. I don't know, they're just not really good because these are, this is a picture, you can't see, it's a little Indian woman in a costume dressing up as a true tribal Indian and a true tribal Mexican, true real native Mexican, Hispanic. And so people say this is controversial because it's not these are real people. You shouldn't dress up as people. And here's the Beyonce in a Indian headdress and stuff. And yes, thank you for